I accept Jesus as my provider. Tonight, you'll find everything will change. Because every need of your life will be supplied. Number seven, Jesus is your partner throughout life. You have been feeling lonely? Loneliness is crying in you. You feel alone in the battles of life. You feel all alone in the challenges of life. And Jesus said, I am come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. And he says, can I go along with you? Can I take your hand and lead you through life? I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be your partner in life. In the valley, I'll be with you. On the mountain, I'll be with you. In difficulty, I'll be with you. In the problem, I'll be with you. Nothing will ever come to your life that will destroy you again. Because Jesus Christ, who bought life, and he bought abundant life, he will be your partner throughout life. That's why the Lord is telling you to take that first step, accept. That's not what the gift of God. Deceive cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. But I am come, that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. And it's as simple as A, B, C. A, accept. B, believe. The Lord is telling us that as you are moving on from A to B, you are getting nearer. I said you are getting nearer. And you are going to get the gift tonight in Jesus' name. Be believe as the word of God comes to you. And the Lord is telling you, I want to carry your load. I want to carry your body. I want to help you. Whatever problem you have, Christ is a specialist in solving problems. That's why when one man came to Jesus and he brought his epileptic boy, he brought that boy to the disciples and he could not do anything. Christ had been to the Mount of Transfiguration and Jesus Christ came back. And then he saw the people and he saw this father, a sorrowful father, a sad father, a dejected father, a depressed father, a discouraged man. He came to Jesus with tears in his eyes. See my only son. Sometimes the evil spirit will throw him into the water. Sometimes will throw him into the fire. And he said, if you can do anything, please help us. And Jesus said, if you can believe. All things are possible for him who believes. He calls you to believe. When you believe on him, that you can save. What the moment you believe, he saves you. When you believe that you can heal, the moment you believe, he heals you. When you believe that you will deliver, the moment you believe, he delivers you. When you believe you can liberate, the moment you believe, he liberates you. The moment you believe, he will protect you. And that no curse, no yoke, no power of Satan will touch you anymore. His umbrella of protection will come upon you. Because the moment you believe, it is done. For you believe that he will provide for your need. The moment you believe, it is done. I want you to believe that now you are not alone. 
I am not alone. I am not alone. Jesus is walking with me. I am not alone. When you believe that he's your partner through life, a new choice in partnership will come to you. And whatever the challenge of your life, you understand, he will take you through. Pregnant woman over there, afraid what's going to happen when I'm going to deliver. Because you've been having this terrible dream. And there is fear in your heart. Maybe I will die when I will deliver. Jesus will be your partner. On that day of delivery, he will take the delivery himself. And there is no fear of death for your child and for you as the mother. All you have to do is to accept and to believe that Jesus is now your partner throughout life. A. Accept. B. Believe. You see, Paul and Silas were in the Philippian jail. And as they were in the Philippian jail, that's the jail, the prison in Philippi. Then a miracle happened. And the prison doors were opened. In fact, while they were praising the Lord, the foundations of the prison were shaking. And then eventually, everyone's bands were lost. And the Philippine jailer wanted to kill himself. Thinking that all those prisoners have run away. And Paul cried out, We are here, don't kill yourself. And then the man ran in. And he took the light. And then he saw Paul. And he saw Silas. And he said, Sirs, what shall I do to be saved? I want salvation. The kind of salvation you have. That makes you sing in the prison. The kind of salvation you have. That makes you happy in the dungeon. The kind of salvation you have. That makes you feel you are not alone. That Jesus is with you. That he is your savior. He is your healer. He is your deliverer. He is your life builder. He is your protector. He is your provider. He is your partner. That kind of salvation you have. What shall I do to be saved? And he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And that's what I come to tell you tonight. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. You are believing tonight. You are becoming a believer tonight. You are a believer tonight. As you go out of this crusade tonight, you are going as a believer. You are going as a believer. Because you are believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. A. Accept. B. Believe. You know when Jesus came to this world, he went about preaching to the people. And in Mark chapter 1, Verse 14, verse 15. He said, the time has come. The kingdom of God has come to you. And it says, We that you have been blessed with this powerful message. Our, bottom, our address is at the bottom of the, uh, of the screen. I believe you will join us one of this Sunday to worship together. Thank you. God bless you. Let us pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name and thank you, Lord, because of this powerful message. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will touch those people who are in need of salvation, those people who are in need of prosperity, those people who are in need of healing. And the power, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will give testimony because of this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Say one more time, say. Oh